Hey everyone, Snoodly Bob here. I'm not going to waste your time by talking too much before you get to the video. I just want to let you guys know that I'm very thankful that you've come to my channel to watch the content. And I want to draw your attention to the charities that we're raising money for, which are located in links down in the description below. Alrighty, have yourself a great day and enjoy the content. So we're at 85% of the way through the game. So the last time we left off, we were heading back to the headquarters. We got threatened by Zora because we needed to give her the data to save our daughter. We have put the pieces together that Dyson was behind the Liberation Front. Uh, and there's a few other things that happened last time, but that's where we were, um, as we get back into Lacuna here. Jace. All right, so we just got back to the CDI, and we're bringing in, uh, Dyson with us. So, they are good at vacuum cleaners. It's a fucking Dyson. And now we're here to kind of ask Saito for help. Uh, hey, Conrad, are you sure about this? I am. All right, then. Good job. I got this. Gary wanted to talk to you. He's inside. You're waiting here with us, Mr. Dyson. Oh. So let's head back in. When the train pulled up, I saw that there were no news, no news going on. And I believe that we have one sheet left outstanding. Yeah, the data. It is about... Oh, we know the first clue, because the chief gave it to us. Um, The Sector 2 incident. Okay, that's what we know so far. No news. Okay, um... Okay, Gary and Saito are going to be in there. I don't think we need... There's no... Okay, no optional things. Well, Saito's in here. Where's Gary? Oh, Gary's going to be in the Chief's office now, right? Uh, forgot. Oh, wait, no. Here he is. Hey, shit, Conrad, you really found the mastermind behind the Liberators. Finally, some good news. I just hope that this whole shit show is over now. Why did Dyson do it? It's kind of a long story. He was trying to escalate the situation between our planets. I see. So let's talk about it in detail later. Preventing last night's attack was a great victory as well. You did a good job. Thanks. That's a good start to my time as chief, isn't it? Well, acting chief, but yeah. I have a meeting with the press in a few minutes. We brought Moore in for questioning. He's waiting in the basement. You should go talk to him. See if he knows something we don't. After that. Okay, interrogate Moore. Where, where are the cocks? Is Saito upstairs? Okay. I just want to see if Saito's around because we're supposed to talk to him to like have him help us uh, hack the planet. Uh, no one in the comments room. Who's in that computer up there? Oh. They opened the upper floors, though. Uh, no. Is that a hot tub? Is it just some offices? Oh, I can't go in there. Hey, we can go way up here. What the heck? I can't go up anymore. Okay. I got a whole ship up here. All right, let's go downstairs and interrogate more.
Uh... Oh, okay. Hello? Uh, this is Evelyn Moore. I heard about James. I'm glad that he's alive. The fact that we caught him in time will certainly improve his chances in court. Yeah. It's not going to be easy, but it could have been so much worse. Thank you. I wish you good luck with your case. Aw, oh, thanks. See? Helping people is good. Good morning, Mr. Moore. I'd like to ask you some questions about the bomb attack. Why'd you do it? My wife is sick. I needed the money. It was all about paying the bills. And... Yes. I was told that the whole thing was a chance to get back at Millix for what they did to my wife. Get back at Millix? How so? I don't know any details, I swear. I wasn't allowed to ask questions. This is all. I'm so afraid that Evelyn will hate me. I see. Who gave you your instructions? It was Mr. Cox. He offered me money. I don't know. Uh, I didn't know what I was getting into, I swear. What exactly did Cox tell you? Not much. He handed me the device to do the hack at ad spot, and he told me where to place the bomb. How did he procure the explosives? I don't know. They're not part of our equipment. He must have gotten it from someone else. From whom? I don't know. I don't know, okay? I see. That's all for now. What will happen to me now? That's for the judges to decide. You'll have to go to prison for a while, but the fact that you didn't carry out your attack will certainly reduce your penalty. Hmm. Shit. Aw. Poor guy. I was supposed to write a report on my findings in the Liberator's case, but I wasn't able to concentrate for even a second. First, I needed to wait for my colleagues to go home to be alone with Saito. He always Stop smoking! Late. But then what? What if he refused to help me? The idea of having to force him was devastating. He was my friend, after all. When I finally managed not to think about it anymore, a much more dire thought crept up on me. Laura might submit die the tonight. sheet. Oh, if dude. Did, okay, I gotta figure out. It would be my fault. I gotta figure out what to do about the sector. Okay, so yeah, it's on the data. Um, did we? Okay, so okay, we read that already. You might want to have a closer look at the Sector 2 incident. Oops. Um... Emails. Anything on Sector 2? No. News articles. Sector 2 is the thing that happened at the very beginning of the game, so... Oh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Sector 2. Today marks the 40th anniversary the 40th anniversary of the tragic Sector 2 incident, which put an abrupt permanent end to New Joran's colonization efforts on Drovia. Critical structural flaws led to a series of explosions. Independent investigation included the oversight of the constructor products on the part of New Joran's public authorities have been dangerous, dangerously negligent. Following public outcry and pressure from the interplanetary community, New Joran was forced to shut down its colonization project on Drovia for good to this day in addendum to the Space Travel Planetary Treaty of 1803 forbids the construction of another New Jordan colony on Drovian ground. Mira Main and her husband Noah Main recounts memories of the Sector 2 incident. Okay, but what do we have to fill in in the sheet? So we know it's about the Sector 2 incident, the Chief told us, that took place in... Okay, so we need the year and the planet. Okay, the planet we know is Drovia. It was a new colony, or a New Jordan colony on Drovia. And for the year... Where is that? Go back. Today marks the 40th anniversary, so 1840, so 1800. Right. Definitely not 1814, 18, no, no, yes. Okay, so Sector 2 incident that took place in 1800 on Drovia. I am pretty confident in this bad boy. Submit. Fine, Saito. Seto Kaiba. Um, I don't know where he's at, though. Or which office he's in. They really didn't make you math on that? Thank God. Not this time, at least. 
Some of the other sheets, I don't know if I ever really mathed very hard on uh, the other sheets that we've done so far, but it's definitely had me like questioning myself a lot. This is the first one in a while. Oh, what is happening? What the hell is happening? It won't let me go down. Oh, now it will. What the fuck was that? I just kind of shook in place. Oh, there's Saito. Hey, Saito. Neil, hey, you're working late. Listen, there's something I need to talk to you about. Of course, what's the matter? Saito, I... I'm sorry. Sorry? For what? Is everything alright? No, it's not. My daughter... Laura was abducted, and the people who took her want something from me. I need your help to get it for them. What? Laura was abducted? When? By who? By a group of mercenaries. Shit, I'm so sorry, Neil. What's the CDI's plan of action? CDI? What do you think those people would do if I told the CDI about it? Wait, you didn't tell anyone else at the CDI? No, look, we don't have much time. The mercenaries want me to help them get the data back to the, that they stole from the chief. They managed to create a backdoor to the CDI network. They can briefly alter the access rights to the folder they want from the CDI database. But they won't be able to retrieve it. They can only That can only be done from a local computer. That's where you come in. You're a sysadmin, right? You have to grant the request for access to a specific folder you're not usually able to see. They'll pull all the data from that folder to your local drive. Put it on a stick and give it to me. They made it clear it was not to be sent over the web. Uh, okay, listen, I... Holy fuck. I'll bring them the data and then I'll get Laura back. Neil, you realize that you can't trust those people, right? Why are you so convinced that they'll hold up their end of the bargain? If you want to save Laura, you have to ask the higher-ups at the CDI for help. Don't know enough about those people. No chance the CDI would be able to track them down in time. The hack will go down in five minutes. If I don't hand them the data tonight, they might kill her. I have an idea. Once they open up the folder thereafter, I might be able to locate the source of the back door. We'll explain it to the others what's going on, and we'll raid the location before the handover is scheduled. You'll have Laura back before they find out that we never went through with the hack. Hmm. If we do it that way, do we still get to retrieve the data in the folder? We won't need it. But if you can't trace them and don't get the data, we have nothing. Fine, I'll accept the data transfer either way. I'll delete it if I am able to trace the hack. Oh, I'll hand them the data. Okay, let's... Mm, this is just for... Mm, Okay, you're right, let's tell the CDI. Okay, okay, good, I'm glad you agree. I have a feeling like if I would have told him the other thing, he, I, I gotta tell him what he wants to hear? Uh, I might have just fucked this up. I think my daughter's about to die. <laughs> but I think like if we tell him what he wants to hear, he'll actually help. I'll find out what their location is, and then we can call Gary. What is his data anyway, and why do they want it? I'm not sure, I don't have time to explain. She's calling. Uh, hey, Neil, I got your sheet. All ready on your end? Yeah, we're ready. Good. We're searching that folder now. I'll tell you when we when you have access. All right, there we are. You're good to go. Okay, I think Saito's retrieving the data. I got it. Good work. I'll see you at the handover. God damn, Neil. I got their location. Let's call Gary and the others. Uh, thank you, Saito. Thank you so much. I'm calling Gary and the others. We have to prepare the raid and we have to do it quick. Hold on. One last thing. What is it? There's no time to lose. Did you pull the data? I... What does it matter? Give it to me. Why? I have the location. You know, we can go arrest them. You don't need it anymore. I did what you said, okay? I didn't go through with it. Please trust me. It's not a trick. I won't give the data to them. I just need to see what's on there. Please. Here, please don't do anything stupid. Thank you, don't tell anyone, okay? Let's call Gary and the others. I also had bad feelings about this. There are several times where I'm like, well... Also, yes, the, the theme is awesome. Uh, let's see. I think I got their uh, headquarters. It's inside an industrial zone on the fringes of the city. The company registered there calls itself Rattlesnake Farming. It appears to be some sort of greenhouse. I assume it's just a front, maybe for money laundering. I still can't believe you didn't tell- Oh, I still can't believe you didn't tell us earlier. What the hell were you thinking, Conrad? And how much information did you feed them about the CDI and about our ongoing investigations? Those people are criminals of the worst kind. Have you forgotten your oath? You'll face serious charges for this, Conrad. I saved your ass, Gary. You don't know that, but I saved your ass. Could you please leave him alone, Gary? He's got enough on his plate right now. 
Well, maybe he would be in a better position if he had told the CDI earlier. Or they would have shot Laura right away if they had caught wind of it. We all had training in hostage negotiations, and I'm sure Neil followed it as best he could. I really don't care about that right now. Can we please focus on getting Laura out of there? I agree. We don't have time to waste. We should be at their HQ within the next hour. That's not a lot of time. Let's go and gear up then. Uh, actually, I don't think it's a good idea for you to be there, Neil. You're not trained in extractions like this, and I don't care if I get hurt. And more importantly, you're too close to the case. The risk that you do something irrational and endanger the whole operation is too high. I can't just stay here and wait. My daughter is in there. That's exactly the kind of attitude I'm worried about. I've been in contact with these people multiple times. They know me. Maybe I can convince them to cooperate. Listen, Neil. There's no more time for discussion. Comrade, call Rory. Get yourselves armor and a gun. I have to call Kumar. Your call. Copy that. Don't leave without me. I'll come with you. You will? Okay, we leave in 30. Go to the roof. Any optionals, though? Oh, boy. Now there's so many stairs. <laughs> Are we going to the cool helicopter? Uh, yeah, I am... It won't let me climb anymore. Oh, I guess I gotta go this way. Okay. Yeah, I was like, what the hell? Why can't I get up there? I inserted the stick into my cell and opened up the folder. My heart was pounding. For a moment, it looked like the data wouldn't load, but then the files started appearing on the screen. Dozens, maybe hundreds of documents, messages, pictures, and videos. They were decades old, most of them dated 1799 or 1800. Their confidentiality level was one I'd never seen before. This was the type of data the Garion network would instantly pick up and trace, both to its receiver and back to its sender. It made sense to physically hand deliver it if one wished to remain anonymous. I didn't know where to begin, so I opened up the very first file in the list, the oldest one, with shaking hands. It was a document sent from someone at the Department of Commerce to the director of the CDI at the time, Emilia Thorne, now Attorney General in charge of the Justice Department. Mm. My eyes widened as I skimmed over the paragraphs. When I was done reading the letter, I checked the time. 20 more minutes. I sat down and opened up the second one, then the third. As the conversation went on, a plan was hatched between a handful of politicians, I'm so glad they voice over this. interest groups from the private sector, and high-ranking members of the CDI. I didn't recognize most of the names. Some might have been pseudonyms. I stopped looking at the files halfway through and let my head sink onto the backrest. Even though they had used very careful language at first, the goal and purpose of the operation were abundantly clear. The failure of Sector 2 hadn't been an accident. Garians had plotted and engineered it to gain Absolutely, Mac. access the to old, the resources, old government at least. and given its strategic importance at the time, ultimately retained supremacy over the solar system. My head was spinning while I tried to figure out what all of it meant for the present and for me. I had long doubted the integrity of the CDI. Was it still rotten to the core, or had things changed? I didn't know about any ongoing operations that were breaching interplanetary law, but then most agents at the time of the Sector 2 incident hadn't known either. And some of the things I did know about, I didn't want to think about them too much. Now what? Hmm. On the one hand, the public had a right to know. The culprits had to be found and brought to justice. Reparations had to be paid to the, the text is scrolling just a business. little too fast from how he's talking. On the other hand, if the truth came out, the liberators would win. Savient extremists might be emboldened enough to take control of the colony and declare independence. If that happened, Gara would send its ships, and New Joran might send theirs to back up their savient brethren, and to finally gain access to the planet's telenium, of course, if their side won. Hundreds might die, thousands even time was running out hmm. I tapped the contact of a journalist I had met a while back 
I still hadn't made a decision when I heard the dial tone. The data would probably go through if I decided to send it. But there was no way in hell it wouldn't be traced back to me. Mm. My heart was pounding so loudly in my ears that I almost didn't hear the voice on the other end. This is Adrian Bowley with the Guardian Gazette. How can I help you? Uh, hello? Uh, are you there? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. I'm hanging up now. Oh, shit. I have information for you. Who is this? I can't tell you. Oh, shit. Uh... Yeah, fuck him. I'm sending you a data package now. It's flagged and, I will, and will be quickly picked up and traced by authorities. Your computer might be bricked. Back it up to an external drive as quickly as you can. Are you serious? Please confirm that you understand what I just said. I understand. Good. The public needs to know this. Promise me that it won't get buried. Ah, oh, bad dance clip. Oh, shit. Uh, Deegs, we uh, finished the uh, CVX run earlier. Uh, Claire got poisoned again on Nosferatu because I suck at that fight really, really bad. And I got lost as Chris. And I got poisoned at the end of the game uh, as Chris and had to play the entire like last 10 minutes in poison and it was awful. Uh, but we ended up getting an hour and 41 minutes with all that crap going wrong. So hopefully next time it'll be it'll be better. <clears throat> well, I have to look at it first, please. I may not have a second chance to send it out. Did you get it all? Yeah, I got it. Okay, it's in your hands now. Conrad, Gary, uh, it's time. Let's go. Okay, coming. And I didn't have time to do another run, so we switched back to Lacuna. Hey, I got an achievement for not smoking throughout the game. <laughs> Let's go! Uh... All right, agents, I just got the report from Nelson. The big greenhouse in front of us seems to be empty. However, the IR cameras picked up 12 targets in an underground facility hidden underneath. A scan for traps and explosives came back negative. Be careful regardless. We're going in on my command. Watch your backs and keep a low profile. These guys are dangerous and most likely armed. Use a deadly force as authorized. Getting the hostage out alive and well is our number one priority. You all know what she looks like. Miller, Johnson, you open up the front door. Once we're inside, we're looking for another door in, in the back. Watch out for hostiles from that point on. Okay, let's go. Move, move, move. Gary, I appreciate you backing me up earlier. Thank you. After what you did, it's only right you'd help us fix it now. Let's go get your girl. Save Laura. Let's go. She's probably already dead. Let's go. This is giving Max Payne works in IT vibes. Uh, he's part of the CDI, which is like a like a CIA ish organization. Clear. Rattlesnake farming, huh? Sure, this ain't a hydroponics plant. Targets ahead. Open up and move in. Three targets. CDI, drop your weapons. Drop them now. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Yo, someone died on our side. Oh shit. Someone. Yo, Bart Simpson died on their side. Yo, he's yellow. He had jaundice. Uh, Saito is the sysadmin. Shit, that was loud. The rest of them will be waiting for us. May's been shot. Gordon Flynn, provide first aid and see if you can get her out to the medics. Fuck. Ito, lock this room down. Keep an eye on those assholes. Get their guns and make sure they stay down. Someone comes through that door over there, you shoot. The rest of you keep moving. We can't give them any more time to prepare or get out. Follow me. Ugh. Opening up. 
In the final corridor, we passed by a large surgery room. I didn't think about it at the time, but that must have been where they had given Zora her new face and implanted Boyd's fake ID. The only mm. thing I could think about was whether they'd moved Laura or done something to her the moment they'd heard us coming. Next room is a dead end. Expect resistance. I'm not actually shooting, so... It's my daughter. Yo, Cry, get yourself some good rest. Drop those guns or we'll shoot. Uh, who are you? What is this? Studi, put your weapons on the ground right now. Dead? Stay put, Laura. It's gonna be all right. Give us a minute to take it, talk it over, okay? I just feel like making the bad guy sound like an old man. Oh, you see, it's about the girl. How about this? We hand her over to you, and you never show your faces here again. Sound fair? I don't think you understand. This facility is surrounded. It's over. Your only option is to cooperate right now. All right, we'll cooperate, but we'll kill the girl first. No. No, then it sounds like you're getting everything you want. That's not how negotiations work. Shooting a child will do nothing but worsen your prospects in trial. Come on, we both know I'm fucked regardless. We'll take you out if you make a wrong move. It doesn't have to be that way. So, what you're saying is our only chance is to fight. <laughs> I'm sorry, Williams. Oh, shit! Oh, fuck yeah! Let's go! What the fuck, Zora? Stop! Final warning! Please, Moon, put your gun away. Good, now lie down and don't cuff him, boys. She lives, Mag! She lives! Let's go! I'm so excited! She could still die, I guess, but I hope not. Dad! It's over now, Laura. You're safe, all right? All right. Are you okay? Did they hurt you? No, I'm not hurt. Get her out of here. Go. Let's go, Laura. Thank you. Dude, Zora, like, betrayed homeboy at the end. Oh, man. I was not expecting that. I was expecting... I was really hoping the daughter wouldn't die, but I was really expecting there to just be a shootout and we just kill everyone. Uh oh. We're trying to get this hostage out in a situation and we are walking slower than molasses. What is this? <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> and that's it. The most tumultuous days of my life and possibly in Garian history. Oh my God. Abbott Dyson I just had a crap load of achievements. Terrorism, first degree murder, and more that would put a normal person away for multiple lifetimes. Unfortunately, he is one of the world's most influential billionaires. And as it stands now, he that's isn't such going bullshit to for more than a few years. It is rumored that he's putting someone else in charge of his company for the time being and will be allowed back at his post Super after bullshit. serving his sentence. With their mastermind unmasked, at least it's safe to say that the Liberators won't ever make another appearance. Even though Dyson and... What are how many innings this game has? Oh, it's gotta have a few. Incident, I don't believe their actions were really driven by a righteous thirst for revenge. Almost all the people who have suffered and might still suffer from their actions had nothing to do with Gaara's past crimes. Ultimately, Dyson had tried to start an interplanetary war in hopes of increasing his profit margins, and he might still succeed in it. This makes me feel like it's the end of the game, but maybe it's not. Maybe we have a little bit more to go. I'll Google it, though, for you, Mag, after we're done. The data I leaked sent a shockwave through the solar system. The source of the leak was quickly discovered. And the CDI not only fired me on the spot, but also tried well, to scrub me from their records. That sucks. All sorts of claims to discredit me. 
The Garian state scrambled to spin the narrative on the Sector 2 incident, but the data was authentic and unambiguous. So I stood up for Gary ago, and Gary Soviet fired me? The Androbia had been sabotaged in a secret operation Bullshit. initiated Fuck by you, a Gary. of Gyara's top politicians, economic elites, and the CDI under the leadership of Amelia Thorne, now Attorney General and leader of the Garian I'm not super Department surprised, but that still sucks. It became clear to me why she had tried to hide the data fired the chief when he got too close and ordered the arrest of Cox when she realized who he was. She is currently awaiting trial along Good. with I hope they put them away at least politicians who were implicated in the conspiracy. It's still annoying that we literally did a lot of things in, in this playthrough. Lara is free again and seems to, to help be out Gary okay. and then Gary and fucks us in the end day about the scars this experience has left behind and now and we're unemployed I'm not directly to blame I will never forgive myself for inadvertently dragging her into all this as for me I am free again as free as I was before but my life has forever changed oh dude we got back with our ex-wife again however crazy that sounds things are so different now the world is so different that maybe something good can come of it again. No, they didn't say Gary specifically, but I blame Gary. I love the pixel animation. That sick is cool. That's, that stuff is cool. He arrested Cox, yes. And finally, Zora. Easily the strangest person let Cox person hang loose. It's true. Life. Despite the terrible things she did, I'm grateful for her help when it really counted. It took the CDI a while to find out anything about her previous life. Turns out her name used to be Elizabeth Davis. Oh, okay. Elizabeth she and her Davis. friend Boyd had been picked up by the mercenaries as teenagers on the run. Both of them came from affluent Garian families, and both had been reported missing, presumed dead. Zora will be brought before a judge this week, and I'll be there to make a statement. It might sound strange, but I hope she'll walk free again one day. No love triangles, dude. Late in the evening. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Banger. Banger alert. The lights are still there. Ever unchanging. They shine unaware. is above me the sea is beneath <laughs> this game was awesome i thoroughly enjoyed this game that have parted will once again me so we stand here in the end we're like the music was awesome the story was cool the puzzle elements were great they didn't like waste a lot of time with like extra stuff. It was very simplistic. Like this is an awesome story driven game. So, and again, I don't know where I got this game and I don't know how it ended up in my library, but I'm so glad that it did. And now I need to see, let's see. Okay, let me check the achievements. Probably. Let's see. Um, get get your daughter back. Oh, I'm sorry, no. Get your ex-wife back. 21% of players have done that. Demonstrate your sleuthing skills. 11% of players. Uh, leak the data. 22%. Rescue your daughter. 21%. Be the good kind of quitter. 9% <laughs> quit smoking in the game. That's funny. Uh, try to start a war, 13%. I don't remember that. Catch the mastermind. To the stars Be nice and de-escalate the situation, 16%. We must look so Catch the sniper. Oh, there's an achievement! Dang it! There's an achievement for feeding the lizard, like, multiple times, and it's called Chonky Boy. No! Uh, there's also an achievement for being AFK, which is pretty funny. Uh, let's see. Oh, 
Oh, and if you pet him, the if you pet the lizard the whole time, there's an achievement for that too called Happy Boy. Um. Oh, uh, Mag, there's eight endings. Because I got an achievement that says Enter the Multiverse, and it says one out of eight. So I assume that's related to the endings. So eight possible endings. Multiple choices that can change the endings. All right. Yeah, so that was uh, Lacuna. We managed to finish that one pretty quick, I think. 